An agreement between Canada and the United States is reigniting the possibility of a spaceport in Nova Scotia. Official officials announced the two countries have struck a deal allowing the use of U.S. space technology in Canada. That also includes use of expertise and data from the United States. An independent review is still needed to move forward, but the government is confident approval could happen quickly. The market is definitely there. We, we have investors, we have launch clients, and we have satellite clients, all three that are very key and keen to move up here and be a part of what we're working on. Uh, they've needed to know that their investments wouldn't go into a black hole. They needed this TSA in place that said, yes, we're good to go, and their investments are sound. Moving their rockets up here, uh, moving their technology up here to launch from Canada uh, is, is in their interest. That's CEO of Maritime Launch Services. It's a startup that has been trying to build a spaceport for several years. They were counting on using Ukrainian rockets to launch satellites, but it had to be abandoned, that plan, uh, with Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The company says they will go ahead with a new model and launch pad. For more, I want to bring in Max King. He is an aerospace engineer and science communicator, as well as an outreach partner for Dunlap Institute for Astronomy and Astrophysics. And he joins us from Montreal today. It's good to speak with you tonight. Good to speak with you as well, Sarah. Thanks for having me on. So talk to me about today's announcement. Exciting for you? Yes, this is exciting. Uh, just as a Canadian aerospace engineer, any furtherment of our industry, any exciting development like this. This is a technology safeguards agreement, and I agree with what you said. This is an agreement for transferring U.S. space technology, data, and expertise. And that last one is the most exciting one. This allows Canadians to learn from our partners uh, in developing safe rocket technology. Can you talk to me, a launch pad in Nova Scotia, what's that going to uh, look like down the line? This happens, what exactly is going to be happening there? Yeah, so uh, the, the word we're using uh, is spaceport. So a rocket launch facility, uh, that's all right. Just like an airport is so much more than airplanes, a spaceport is so much more than rockets. So we need rockets to send uh, increasingly complex spacecraft into outer space. And we also need a facility on the ground to safely work with them, safely communicate with them while they're on orbit, and ideally prevent any accidents from occurring and preventing contamination of the local environment. And all of that are some of the challenges that go into building a spaceport, which is civil infrastructure. Right, so we're looking at some, some graphics that have been put out here, and I'm, I'm seeing rockets would, would launch from this, yes? Yes, that is the goal. One day uh, that we would have Canadian uh, capability to launch rockets into orbit around our planet from Canadian soil, which is currently not technology that we have in this country. And, and what kind of benefits then, or does that have, do you think, uh, to Nova Scotia? I mean, that's where it would be happening, so what would that mean for the province? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so the economy uh, around space and the space economy is slated to grow to orders of magnitude larger than it is over the next several years, uh, over the next decades, apologies. Uh, we do have uh, Canadian hardware going to space through other countries. Uh, spacecraft that I've worked on have gone to space through the United States through the French Guiana, and even out of New Zealand, uh, but never out of Canada. And this kind of capability allows us to prioritize not only Canadian technology, but also Canadian talent that allows preservation of brain or uh, academic and technical talent in Canada to stay and have opportunity in this country. Now, not a lot of people necessarily have seen a, a rocket launch of any kind, and it sounds like it's not happening you know, tomorrow, even if everything goes very smoothly. I don't know exactly what the potential <laughs> timeline is that, for this, but if, those are, if there are people who are concerned about this, you know, what would you say <laughs> to them if they say, hey, this is great, but just not in my backyard? That's fantastic. To those people, I would say, speak up. Every voice should be a part of this conversation. Uh, 
when we compare modern space development to the early days of the space industry in the 1960s, uh, topics like environmental preservation and conservation of our natural world weren't as prevalent in those conversations. And Canada now has a unique opportunity to build this technology with those things in mind. This allows us to have environmental concerns at perhaps the forefront of this decision of allowing us to build a spaceport that can be world-class in terms of safety and preservation of the environment surrounding it. So Max, how much time do you think that they have to, to speak up and voice those concerns? What are we talking about here, if, if everything were to go smoothly? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not affiliated with Maritime Launch Services, the company that is building the spaceport. I know they have plans to uh, develop and have the spaceport open, I believe, in the next several years. And so there already are groups in Nova Scotia that have spoken up. And I believe that those conversations should be ongoing. I am not currently a resident of Nova Scotia, so I can't speak locally to what some of those exact concerns are. But I think those communities need to bring forward those concerns. And there should be voices listening to those from both the province and the government. Just last the question. Government. Just last question for you. If it all goes ahead, if there are rocket launches in Nova Scotia, when's your first trip to Nova Scotia? <laughs> uh, I would love to be there for the inaugural launch. Uh, today, this agreement is another uh, key foothold, hard won foothold uh, for Canadian cooperation and peaceful exploration of space. And I'm excited to see it. Aerospace engineer and science communicator Max King, thank you. Thank you very much, Sarah.